guys, it's Joey, and this is my week with Jera, or experiencing Jera on the Celtic path. So I'm actually going to start by doing an overview because when I read through my week, which is what I usually start off doing, it showed me that I had focused too much on one aspect or something, and I needed to shift my balance and perspective on something before I could really make the video. I had to come to that personal understanding myself. So, sorry about that. So, I had to come to this conclusion to my for myself because I was focusing too much on the, the negative side of things rather than the positive side of things and having to realise about the balance of harvest. So, I'm going to start with that as a thought that um, throughout this week there have been sort of personal harvests, if you like, of both positive and negative things happen in my life. And unfortunately, ugly things have reared their heads again, and then some really positive things have happened, and it has become too easy to become quite down about the negative side of things and forget to appreciate and be grateful for the positive side of things. So I set up the sort of surrounding image you can see for Jera to reflect the balance. There is, you know, there's the beautiful goddess offering bowl that I received for my birthday that I asked for and then some harvesty bits in there and Jera in there and then a couple of crystals all of which I think were birthday related so that's the imagery in front of you. Now I'm going to read from the week. Um, events come into fruition in their own good time, tangible results, events coming to pass, uh, justice, legalities, reaping of rewards for karmic efforts. Um, so I first looked at the image that I drew and I, I had an overwhelmingly positive viewpoint of the drawing of this rune and then I read it and I sort of thought this rune sounds awfully negative in a lot of ways and maybe that tinged my week with it but we shall go through because the first thing is there's still been a steady influx of orders and interest in my store which is my my baby at the minute it's something I'm intensely proud of however later that day I've been feeling very out of sorts kind of annoyed at the actions of people who are behaving in disrespectful and disregarding manners, people who should be more considerate of my feelings and weren't. And I had some of that in a sort of very personal level, uh, family members and whatever this week, and I just had to sort of try and shrug that off. And that annoyed feeling, I had to try and shrug that off. And then I came across the following quote, I do not exist to express the world, I must exist to live in a way that will make me happy. Then I started thinking about what makes me happy and the fact that change feels like it's coming but isn't here yet and asking the goddess to keep me strong. And then I found the quote, everyone comes with baggage, find someone who loves you enough to help you unpack. I started getting extremely frustrated about certain things people had actually said to me that this week um, from the past. And I had a very down day on the, the first day of this, which is all I feel comfortable saying really, because it, you know, a lot of what I wrote was just me venting out my frustrations. The second day I found myself contemplating the following idea and this is my quote. Remember, remember who you are in September. September is my power time, it's my birth month, it's the beginning of autumn, it's the beginning of my the dusk of the year which is my power time when I come into my own. It's the time of year I look forward to all year round and it's been a little bit d disheartening so far and it always is because birthdays are a little bit loaded for me. When did I start letting people dictate to me who I should be? 
and the problems with allowing fear to dictate who you are. Life is not about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself, was the Violet Cats video this week and she'd seen it on the roadside and it really touched me and it really, really sort of keyed in with the idea of personal harvest. It's about creating who you are. It's not about discovering who you are, it's about creating who you are and as witches and who understand the powers of creation and magic it's a very very strong message. On the night or morning of my birthday I actually woke up and saw my kitsune altar glowing which I completely and utterly forgot until later in the day and I thought I was thinking about this and I was thinking is is this, I, did I dream it? Did it actually glow? Did, there was some weird light in here somehow, which is highly unlikely. We've had a lot of spirit activity this week. Um, my partner saw a dog walk across the floor and he turned over and thought I'd gone to the toilet. He heard me go to the toilet, turned over and I wasn't there and all sorts of spirit activity this week. And then I saw my altar glowing on my birthday and I, part of me is like, is this something to do with my personal power? Because obviously the Kitsune, Kitsune uh, altar, my fox totem altar, is about my personal animal, it's about my personal journey, it's about my personal power. And to see it glowing like that might have meant that something is shifting and changing within um, my personal power and of course it was for my birthday which is possibly the most powerful day for you individually in the year um, could have been worse as birthdays went I did get to go to the pagan place and have a Chinese did a purifying metamorphosis ritual later it exhausted me and I, I spoke to the Morrigan reaffirmed myself to the Morrigan but I didn't know I didn't think it would be it felt very draining on my energy, but I was expecting more of a tangible result given the rune this week. I asked the Morrigan to guide me. I did have some Celtic warrior visions in a tent later. People coming into the tent, coming into my life. Um, the day had been stressful in other ways. My mother contacted me for the first time in five years. Uh, to wish me a happy birthday, which always makes life difficult. It just leaves you thinking, what now? What's coming next? The following day I felt very exhausted, very disconnected, very without energy. Uh, I assumed that it was just a day to heal up after the birthday event, which birthdays are very stressful. I was born, unfortunately, on the same day as my inverted commas father, so it brings a whole lot of nasty memories and I have had a lot of terrible birthdays if I do it sounds so depressing I've been dumped I've had you know been broken up with on my birthday from relationships um, I've been completely abandoned on my birthday I've been completely ignored on my birthday I've had some really horrible stuff in my childhood and it's basically trying to disassociate who I am now from who I am then and not allowing those roots and things to ruin everything about now which is in, in its way it is a harvest of sorts it's like you must find a way to stop allowing those seeds to keep coming up again and again on birthdays you've got to find a way to disconnect the negativity from the past with personal harvest now so at last last not least I talked to yesterday about integrity I shared the following quote integrity means you paint with your own colors and live by your own true values I discussed this on video because my crabby troll is back this time trying to poach people who mean a lot to me especially people in like last week um, who I mentioned and this person is trying to steal again um, co contemplating doing dealing with thief thieves on videos tomorrow I might do it today and I expressed my disgust at the complete lack of integrity that is sometimes found within. Uh, a large B was also in my video that morning so then I cross-referenced back to the last time I had a lot of B imagery in the rune path and I've forgotten how to say it again. It's um, 
Bioch, Bioch. It's the one that's spelled B-E-O-R-K and looks like a B, which is where the true heart is, the message of personal empowerment. There's what came through from that rune last time. Um, losing of homes and past, uh, losing everything I tried to build, getting back to yourself and trying to become who you want to be. So I think the, the it was sort of hearkening back to that, that idea of personal power, of not allowing the negativity to overwhelm you. Um, the infinity loop also showed in that rune and this rune. The infinity loop keeps coming up and the idea of spiritual fulfillment, of spiritual connection, of being connected to the world around me and of infinity, of beauty and love. I don't know how much harvest I've had this week. It felt very much like a pause before the storm, a moment of rest and reflection before action. It's felt frustrating at times this week, waiting on certain things which haven't shown up on time this week has happened a lot this week. Um, giving me sort of nothing to do and, and that frustrated feeling of I need to be doing this, I need to be completing things for people and I can't because of someone else. It also churned up my troll again, which was, I could have done without to be perfectly honest, especially in my birthday week. Um, perhaps this needs more dealing with, more f focus on cleansing and banishing perhaps. Um, etc. And then I, I came back and I thought to myself you know, you have had positive things happen this week. You have received lovely presents from people for your birthday. Um, people have... Uh, the gorgeous sunshine morning ray has sent me something in the post and that is exciting me beyond all measure. I had some beautiful gifts last week and, I've, you know, I've, I've had those crystals around a lot for, for me this week and they're absolutely gorgeous. I've had people expressing interest in, in very specific orders for the store, which I love doing. I love making things for people specifically because, to me, it makes it so much more intimate, personal and powerful, to be honest. So, I've had that sort of offering of friendships. I've had new people coming into my life this week. I've had... I've forgotten her name. A young lady who told me I inspired her Morrigan altar and wanted me to sh to have a look, and it was it was lovely. She had some gorgeous ideas all of her own, and and she had the three aspects of the Morrigan separated on shelves. And I thought, oh girl, you you it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful what she'd done. I said so and commented on her video. So I've had people coming into my life who honour the Morrigan in a very honest way and a very you know, that was that was really heartening for me this week, whereas pe there are people that use the Morrigan as an excuse and um, pretend. So I have to try and focus on the positive harvests of my life and try and understand why negative harvests are coming through and try and deal with it. Um, I'm trying to not focus purely on the negative aspects of things because it basically overrules all the positive. It's, it's, it's a really difficult thing to, you know, you, you have a whole field of wheat and a little bit in the corner is completely and utterly ruined by uh, something, fire, say, but it's it's not burnt your whole crop field, but it's ruined a bit of it and it, it can get quite disheartening and sometimes it's, you have to remember that you have positive harvests as well as the fact that negative things still need dealing with. They're going to keep coming up until you deal with them. So I'm going to have to keep dealing with this, apparently. And I started dealing with one negative thing by doing that video yesterday, by trying to make people aware that uh, copycat thieves are still going on, still trying to ruin me and, and my personal harvest, my business, my shop, my creations, which are my babies, you know? So I have to try and focus on the positives, that there are people supporting me, that there are people I can talk to, that there are lovely people around. I am making new friendships, new pe discovering new people connected to the Morrigan. People, new people coming to me and being like, uh, I've been so inspired by your Morrigan videos, that. And that's a gift, you know. It's, it's not the same as the people are like, I've completely stolen every idea you've ever had and I'm going to steal your creative ideas and I'm going to poach your things and I'm going to, um, your people you're friendly with and I'm going to spread lies about you and I'm going to gossip and I'm going to buy everything that you've ever bought and oh, it's not the same thing and where, you know, that really pisses me off, excuse my French, but, uh, there you go. 
But I have to try and focus on that there are people coming in who have their own ideas, their own thoughts, their own processes, and they like to discuss and debate with me, and that's great. So, yeah. So that was Jera for me this week. A little bit of a weird week trying to find the balance between positive and negative, reconnecting with my goddess through my birthday rituals, and a lot of that is quite private, so it's not going to get shared so much on video. I think that's it for this week. That's it for Jera. Many blessings.